A classic investment banking interview question is how does a $10 increase in depreciation affect the free statements? And this question is part of a family of accounting questions that you can get in interviews. So they might ask you how does a increase in unearned revenue affect the free statements or what happens when your inventory goes up or something along these lines. And the framework to use is that you start with the income statement, you then go on to the cash flow statement and then lastly the balance sheet. And if you use this framework, you can really walk through all of these accounting questions. So let's use it to answer this question. And keep in mind that you only in you only focus on the incremental effects. So in this case, we just assume a, a given company and we look how at how this $10 increase in depreciation is going to sort of marginally impact all of the free statements. And this is the answer that they're looking for. So if we start with the income statement, um, at the top you've got the sales, the COGS, the SGNA, the EBITDA. All of this is going to be unaffected um, from this depreciation. However, obviously your depreciation is going to go up. Um, and this is going to reduce your earnings before taxes by 10, which is the same amount as the depreciation. And now with the taxes. So this is a little bit tricky, but basically, if you assume the 40% tax rate, the depreciation in this case is going to reduce the taxes by 4. And so the way to think about this is that let's take this um, column here on the bottom right, and we assume that we've got on the left-hand side of the box, you've got an uh, EBITDA of 20. And in this case, we've got zero um, depreciation. So you would have uh, earnings before taxes of 20 as well, and then taxes of 8. Now assume that the depreciation goes up to 10. So you would have a bit of 20, depreciation of 10, and then earnings before taxes of 10. So the depreciation lowered the taxable income. And in this case, you would only pay 4 of taxes. And this is called the this impact that the, the depreciation reduces the taxable income. This is called the depreciation tax sheet. And so this is what leads to the lowered tax tax payments. And so basically, um, you would end up with a net income of minus 6. So the, despite the depreciation going up by 10, your net income has only dropped by 6. And we'll bring this then to the top of the cash flow statement. And you start with the cash flow from operating activities. And so here it's the non-cash expenses, which you're adding back. So we add back the depreciation, which would be plus 10. Then there's not going to be any impact in investing activities, which would be, for instance, CapEx. And there's no impact on the cash flow from financing activities. So you'd have the cash flow of year zero. You then have the change would be plus four, so minus six plus 10. And then the cash flow in year one would also be plus four. So yeah, so just to think about this mentally maybe helps to think about the fact that depreciation has gone up, but actually depreciation just means that your equipment is aging, but it doesn't actually mean a cash flow, a cash outflow. Um, so if you think about the plus four, what the plus four represent are the tax savings because of this depreciation. And so now let's lastly look at the balance sheet. And so on the left side of the balance sheet, you've got the assets. And so gross PPE &E would be unaffected and depreciation obviously went up by 10. And so this would reduce the net PPE &E by 10 as well. Then you've got the cash, which we just saw. And so this would lead the asset side of the balance sheet to be minus six. And then on the liabilities and equity side, you've got the equity account retained earnings, which will also be minus six um, because this flows through from the net income. And so the liabilities and equity side would also be minus six in the balance sheet balances. So yeah, you saw how with this methodology, sort of income statement, um, cash flow statement, balance sheet, it's really logical and a structured way to answer these questions. So I really recommend it for all of the accounting related questions. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to leave a comment.